You know, I've done a lot of different things on my channel over the years and off cuts is no exception. And when I mean off cuts, I'm referring to cuts of meat that you can't typically find in your supermarkets. They're called off cuts because they're hard to find. I mean, unless you have meat purveyors and such like that, that specifically sell these, they're really hard to find, such as this right here. This is a neck roast right here. These are pork shanks. We've got two of them. Now, these are from Porter Road, and Porter Road has a lot of different offcuts. You can find beef cheeks, you can find beef tongue, you can find shanks, neck roast, beef bacon, all sorts of things. And I've been dealing with Porter Road for around a year now, and I'm here to tell you I have yet to be disappointed with any of it. It's really good meat, it's all pasture raised, it's hormone free, antibiotic free, which means you got a really good product here. They haven't been caged up, they're free to roam out to the pastures and you just end up with a lot healthier animal, a lot happier animal and it shows. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these unpacked, get a rub on them and get them on the offset. So like I said, we're just gonna cut into this Get these out here on the board. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again. For health reasons, it's best not to rinse your meat off with city water and things like that over your sink. It's best, these, these are clean, they're ready to go. That what you're seeing is not blood. That is what they call myoglobin and uh, it doesn't hurt a thing. And matter of fact, it's making it wet to where I really don't need a binder on this. All right, I'm gonna take one of my gloves off so I got a clean hand. Now this rub right here, this is a rub that Derek put together himself. It smells really good. He's been experimenting with barbecue rubs and sauces. He's got a really good vinegar sauce as well, more of a Carolina style. But we're just gonna take a generous amount on here. These are not huge, but they're not real thin, so it can handle it. Get our shank seasoned up. Now I'm not gonna trim any of this off of there. And leave them just like it is. That's not skin, that is just fat. I think some shanks you get, you can get with the skin on them. All right, these are looking good. Our smoker is up to temp. We're running about 230 degrees at the grate. We're gonna give these a good old fashioned low and slow. All right, I think we need to take a look at these and see if we need to spritz. It looks like we do. This is just water. We're just keeping it moist looking really good we're running around somewhere between 225 and 235 all right this is the second time that I've spritzed and we're just gonna close it up and keep on smoking Ooh, I tell you what this took about as long as it did for that brisket I cooked a couple of weeks ago these shanks, it's got a lot of connective tissue and real tough stuff that you got to break down. And most people would smoke these for a while and braise them. But let me tell you, you get a lot better bark and a lot better smoke if you just slow smoke them over time. These been going about seven and a half, almost eight hours. But look at here. Ooh, boy, it just falls right through there. These are probe tender. Feels really tender. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this off of here. Going to let it rest for a little bit and then we're going to do some pulling and some chopping. All right. So I'll let these rest maybe 10, 15 minutes. We're going to go to shredding. All right, we're just going to start with this little pork neck right here. I'm going to tell you something about these off cuts. So they, they usually have more flavor and I could have said it earlier, I don't remember, but they'll have a lot more flavor than a lot of the other cuts and that's what i like about it you know it's just like some of the best porky flavor there is and it's true with any animal really these off cuts can produce some of the best flavor out there but man that's got a fantastic bark on it 
Look at that. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this shank. We're just gonna pull it. Really tender, really nice. What I like about chopping meat instead of just pulling it and shredding it, which I do that too, is chopping it, it gives it a really good texture. It's little bits and pieces, and it's not long strands or anything, and on a sandwich, it's just perfect, you know. You could eat this if you don't have any teeth, guaranteed. So I'm going Eastern Carolina style with this. We've got our meat here, we got all that seasoning, that's the bark but we don't have no seasoning on the inside. So I'm going with just salt and pepper. This is 50-50. And we're just gonna season this up. Not real super heavy. Just give it a little flavor. That should be plenty. Now I've got a Carolina sauce here. And we're just gonna take and put this right up the middle. Boy, that's smelling good. Mm -mm. Now, this is a secret. I wish I could share it with you, but uh, we're actually talking about, me and Derek, my son, about bottling some of that stuff. I think we dialed in that Carolina flavor as far as the red vinegar sauce goes. All right, before we put any sandwiches together, i got to try just the meat with this sauce on it by itself All right, quick. let me know if it needs anything. All right, I got to do the same thing. That is popping with flavor bombs. Mm. That sauce. Oh, that's, that's talking to me right there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's a long cook and we're about to starve. Mm. There we are, it's been a long day, but you know what? Great barbecue cannot be rushed. Let's pick up all these little scraps. We don't want to waste none of this goodness right here. And I don't think we're going to have to vacuum pack anything because I don't think this is going to last long enough for that. you a bun. All right, just burger buns. We're not putting coleslaw on this. We're not doing nothing but pork with this sauce. That's all we're doing. I'm going to take and I'm going to pile me on some right here. I'll make this one yours. You want some of that extra sauce on yours? Yes, sir. You know it, man. That sauce is killer. Just like that. Oh, man. that mm. I'm really tasting that, that vinegar sauce. It's yes, got sir, that, just a little back-end heat, nothing severe. It's really good. That screams Carolina. All right. Sure. Let's give her a shot. Mmm. That's the Eastern Carolina style, and buddy, let me tell you, there ain't nothing wrong with that. That's barbecue at its finest right there. I was raised in South Mississippi. South Mississippi is not really known for a particular barbecue. I think they take a little bit of this and that from other places. Memphis, Carolina, they kind of mix it together for more of a sweeter sauce, and got a little bit of vinegar background on it, you know, but I love this. I love vinegar with pork. It pairs so well. The salt, the fat, and the pork, along with the vinegar, it just, it's a perfect marriage. It makes everything pop and it's just full of flavor. I highly recommend these off cuts from Porter Road. The link will be in the description box. Go over there and check them out. They'll deliver it to your front door. You can put it in until your freezer, until you're ready to do a low and slow cook. And keep in mind, these shanks, if you go straight, start to finish on a barbecue smoker like i got here at all set it's going to take a while now you could braise this but you're going to lose and not have all that nice smoke from that wood and by the way we use black jack oak we got a ton of that stuff we got to use it up hickory would be a good choice pecan hickory pecan mix uh hickory with oak or just straight oak it's all good hope y'all enjoyed this video i'm russ jones i'm Derek jones we are smoky ribs barbecue